Okay, so the purpose of this video is to explain a bit about cast sniffer and how to hack Chromecast receiver apps using it. So what we're going to be doing is going through the details of cast sniffer and then causing some basic unexpected behavior in a Chromecast receiver app. So the first thing you're going to want to do, open up a browser, go to the website www dot chriswritings dot com let that load up down on the left here there's a little link cast sniffer the chromecast broadcast message sniffer you want to click on that you come to this download page cast sniffers a java 1.8 program so you're going to need java 1.8 or better running on your computer if you don't have that, or if you're not sure, or if you're not sure you've got the right version, follow this link to go to the Java download site, click on Accept License Agreement, and then choose the appropriate download for your computer. So for example, if you're on a fairly modern Windows computer, you're going to want the X64 XE here. So I'm not going to install that on mine, I already have Java 1.8, but you should go ahead and do that if you don't. Then we want to go to the link Get Cast Sniffer. What I want to do is save that link as, I'm just going to put it on my desktop here. So that's download and saved. So Java and Cast Sniffer is a command line program. So we're going to open up a command line, a command to run it. It's Java minus jar cast sniffer dot jar and then the name of your Chromecast, which in this case is Bedroom TV. If I hit return, cast sniffer is starting up. So what cast sniffer does is basically repeats for you any broadcast messages from the Chromecast and it augments that a little bit by getting app information and letting you send messages back to the app. So the first thing Cast Sniffer has done, send a connect message to connect to the app, and it's asked it what it's doing. And as we can see here, it's running the Chromecast home screen. So on my iPad, I've got an app called Free Arcade. So I'm just going to start that up, pop in and ask that to connect to my bedroom TV. What you see straight away is we've got some messages come up that are telling us that it's launching this app. It's called Chrome Arcade. So it uses these namespaces. It's got this app ID. And Carsniff has gone to the Google servers and it's queried that app ID and it's found this URL for you. So we're just going to copy that URL. It's going to come in useful in a minute. Copy. And we're going to take a look at that URL itself. So if we look at that, that's essentially the loading screen for this Cast Arcade app. If we hit Control U, we can see basically the source code for this page. It's a fairly simple page. It looks like it's based on a sample receiver app that's just been modified slightly. So it's got interesting things in here. So you can have a look through. And basically you're looking for something interesting. So what we can see here, for example, is there's this element that shows if we send it the message show. And we know what URN to send that message to because it's up here. So if I copy that, we can see what it does. So in Cast Sniffer, if you type in a line starting URN followed by the namespace, 
It's going to set the namespace that it sends messages to as that. If you type anything else, it'll send it as a message. So the first thing I'm going to do is paste in the URN to set that as the namespace. If we pop back to the source here, we can see there's a command show. So if in here I type the word show, and we have a look at our Chromecast screen, we can see it's brought up this sample media receiver hub with all sorts of interesting developer information. And if we send any other commands, let's say hide, then that hub disappears. Okay, so that's not terribly exciting. That's sort of built-in behavior into the media receiver that the app just hasn't used or hasn't used at least in the production version. So the question is, can we make it do anything else interesting? So if we have a look here, for example, there's another URN. And this one looks like one from the developer of the app because it's got their domain name in it. So I'm just going to paste that again into here, to set that as the namespace that we're sending any messages to. And if we look down here, one interesting thing here, gain action is sort of the default for any messages that fall through this. If we scroll back up, have a look, we can see the function it's calling is just here. Basically, what it's doing here is looking to see if it starts with game minus. And then after that, it seems to be setting the source for some iframe to the string we give it, followed by question mark and a random value. So maybe we could try in here typing game minus and some sort of URL. If we wait, there we go, we see the BBC web page load up into the iframe that this app's got created. And just to prove that's not a fluke, if we go to another URL, then there we go, that page loads up too. So that's basically a simple example of how to use the cast sniffer to control, look at, modify, and basically trick Chromecast apps that aren't terribly well written into doing things that they weren't intended to do.